This is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. This is the Arma 3 Mission Editor uh, Tutorial 6, where we're going to uh, add in our mission uh, a bit more of a challenge. So that the objective here is that we get into the base. If we get detected, they bring in reinforcements. So our mission is to get across the base with stealth. So how are we going to add that kind of uh, objective? Well, we're going to use a trigger and we're going to put some more conditions on that trigger that we haven't used yet and we're going to use a new waypoint that we haven't used called a hold waypoint okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, the reinforcements that are hanging out at Agia Marina okay I'm going to create a motorized op 14 that's waiting to move in now I'm going to use my unit selection tool and just get them orientated on the road properly. There we go. First thing I'm going to do is start giving them some waypoints. I'm going to use that hold waypoint I was talking about. So the first, excuse me, the first waypoint is going to be a hold waypoint. And there we go. What this means is that they're going to move to that position and wait. Tuck them in behind this building, make sure that they don't see anything and no one sees them. After that, I'm going to continue them on down the road, at which point I want them to engage anything they see. And they understand their objective is going to be, oops, I don't want that because sometimes you put down a marker it will uh, or a waypoint, it will be linked to a specific object. And I don't want them to be moving to that object. So I go back, delete that one, select my last waypoint. All right. And move them up to the airfield. at which point I want them to seek and destroy let's say uh, and I want them to seek and destroy over an area of about well I hit the wrong button uh, so I want to make the completion radius on the seek and destroy button let's say 90 meters I want to make it uh, no change on the combat mode but like change their speed now to limited alright just so that they patrol that area slowly so there they go, they'll seek around in there for it and guard that helicopter. Alright, so next thing I need to do is make a, con make a trigger that is going to say, okay, once the blue force is detected in this area, I want these units to move from this whole point and continue on this path. So I create a trigger. Um, I'm going to make it 300 by 150 meters. Uh, the type is going to be a switch for this because I want it to send a signal to that hold waypoint uh, for these units to continue on their waypoint. Okay, activation is going to be blue four is detected by op four. Okay, and that's all I need for this trigger. I don't need anything else. Okay, all I'm going to do is now select my trigger spin it by pressing the left shift there and spin it around place it over this section of the base so once I'm detected by OP4 or the blue 4 is detected by OP4 anywhere in this area then we need to synchronize this trigger with that hold marker in order for that units to continue on moving so I hit my synchronize tool put my cursor over top of the trigger blue 4 switch and it tells me what it is left click and drag over to the hold marker and it tells me which one it is and then let go. I'm going to select my unit selection tool and click off of the map to make sure I don't do anything else to mess that up. Okay, everything is set up now. Uh, we just need to set up a way to test this. All right, so we need these guys to detect an op for or a blue four unit. So I'm going to set up a couple of uh, units here so that we can see this actually happen. First, I'm going to set up us as an observer unit. I'm going to select a
say a civilian uh, make it playable and here we go we'll be able to observe all this action and in here I'm going to put down a blue 4 unit that is AI which we will delete and I give him a waypoint to make sure he gets detected notice that this waypoint got connected to this wall so I'm going to delete it and remake it there he should be detected pretty quickly here just to make sure okay so now we can preview it I'm going to select the civilian side so we should be able to see all this go down notice that the briefing does not work not because I'm a civilian because I did not synchronize those uh, diary records with that unit I placed down here so we will not be able to see the briefing and here we go on the beautiful isle in the stratus you can see our blue four guy now moving up the road towards those op four guys he'll be detected very shortly And then we should be able to see this vehicle rolling on in. How's he doing over there? I think he's a good shot. No, nope, fight's still going. There comes that vehicle. And there you go. This is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com, and this is how you can start to uh, populate your mission once you've got your uh, triggers and end conditions figured out and make the whole thing come to life. I'll catch you the next time.